Hello everyone and welcome back to my Morning Pot Analysis videos with me, Richard Pembroke, and that's that hand tech market. It's on Monday 11th of Feb. Let's have a look at Eurodollar. It is crunch time on Eurodollar again. Over the last, um, well, five, six months really, um, dating back to August, seen every time you get back towards 113 figure, the market uses it as a buying opportunity. Now, is this again going to happen this morning? We've just seen the market sort of rebounding. Again, a back above 113 figure. Is this that buying opportunity? Is this going to be a continuation of the range that we've seen over the last few months, or is it going to be a deterioration? We haven't seen um, a two-day close below 113 figure since November. Um, we've seen a couple of attempts below it but then quickly rebounding back above it so it's interesting we're really on that at that crunch moment for euro dollar um momentum indicators are actually still fairly positively set up 40 on the rsi seems to be a level where the buyers have tended to sort of come back in throughout this range uh, macd lines are ticking lower yes as are the stochastics um, so that basically just reflects the near-term slide that we've got. But interestingly, we've seen in the last couple of sessions, the, the slide has been slowing a touch. Um, sort of I focused on the morning report on the average true range, which is around about 64, 65 pips. And those uh, last couple of candles have been less than that. So again, it sort of suggests that perhaps the selling pressure isn't as large as it previously was. Now, as I said, back around 40 on the RSI means we're sort of at a key moment, I think, on this range. This support does hold around 13 figure and um, then start to tick higher again. That will be, again, another key moment, I think, within this range, which I think would then sort of start to see the market swing higher. But as I said, 13 figure needs to hold on a closing basis. You've got the hourly chart, which shows the consistent run of lower highs, lower lows. But equally within that, I sort of also noticed on the um, hourly chart, there is a very slight bullish divergence or positive divergence, which is threatening. So if you see the hourly RSI above 50, then that would be interesting as well, wouldn't it? That would start to suggest that we are starting to gain a little bit more recovery traction potentially. Um, watching out for the 21 hour moving average, interestingly comes in around 13.20 at the moment. Certainly the 55 hour moving average hasn't been below that uh, pretty much since that sell off began. So uh, yeah, a couple of things to have a look out for to, to determine whether this is gonna be starting to be a recovery or whether it's gonna be a breaking through the range lows. Got resistance initially around 1320, but more over 1350 to 1360. And then uh, if you break out through that, then you really are looking at the recovery within the range again. So I wish you good luck in your trading and I'll speak to you later.